Hey guys, so today uh, I realize this is a fairly old model, but um, for those of you who still have a DC-25 Dyson and you're looking to service your cycling assembly, uh, this is a how-to video. On. First thing you want to do here with this cycling assembly is you can remove your um, uh, clear container, separate those two. Um, when you have your clear bin, just for the sake of uh, being thorough, I like to remove the, uh, the little rubber gasket here. So and this just pulls out and you do have to be very careful right around this area because this little catch will break off if you pull it too hard. So be gentle when you're sliding this out. And now, if your cycling assembly looks like this, um, this is, needs to be cleaned off first. Then you can open this up and you remove your filter. And uh, we'll, I will clean these with soap and water. They say just water only, but again, in my experience, uh, cleaning these a lot, um, I've tried cleaning it with water, and then I've tried cleaning it with soap and water, and tell you what, the soap and water op uh, option works so much better. Um, so you can do either one. Try it yourself. Uh, wash it with soap one time, wash it with just water another time, and, and uh, you be the judge. So. Um, I, I'm just giving you um, the advice and methods that I've found to be effective. So if you find more effective methods, or if you don't think that the methods that I do are uh, necessary, then that is totally up to you. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do is we're going to pop this piece off. All the times that I've done this, by the way, I've never once broken one. So um, I set it up um, in the ridge that which is hanging off here is past where these little clips are. So you can see, I think you can see on the camera that my block here is not like this, it's it's right here. So your pivot point is, is uh, past where it's overhanging. Um, so I just take a mallet and give it a nice pop and then this thing comes out. And inside of there you can see a lot of build up there. Uh, and again, that's designed, but it can smell and uh, so when we clean these out they smell uh, much fresher so okay so your next step is you're going to uh, we're going to look go to the top here now we can take this you can take this off if you want to um, you can just pop this off like that um, some a lot of times just because uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of a difference I'm just leaving them together and uh, just cleaning these two pieces as one piece. So this is going to be a Torx 15, T15 bit. And so that's what you're gonna need to, uh, to take these screws out. So now you're gonna lift this up and you'll probably see this piece come out because there's a little spring that has tension on it. And uh, don't worry a whole lot about, you know, if this comes out and you didn't see the way it come out because I'm going to show you how it goes back in when we put it back together. And then you have a uh, gasket here that we're going to pull up and take apart. And you can clean that. Just be gentle. Uh, sometimes these start to tear right here. So, um, And uh, sometimes if they're too bad, you'll want to add a little bit of either other gasket material or some tape or something that's going to kind of fill that void um, and that can help seal the cyclone uh, much better and reduce any air leakage from that gasket being separated. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do here is you're probably gonna want, some, some of these I can slide the screwdriver across but this one wants to like keep popping back in. So what you're gonna have to do is grab um, a couple screwdrivers, hopefully you have enough and what you want to do is just kind of alternate, you know, as you get one side open and you're going to just keep moving and you want to keep at least two in at the same time. And you're just going to slowly just work your way around, just prying this off that little lip. And then eventually it'll just finally pop loose. So you can see you just kind of like 
go one and then cross them over. Then, then it finally will release. Then you can really clean inside of here. So in this part here is usually the nastiest inside of here. And a lot of odor will, will store inside of here. And you can see this is directly um, exposed to your, uh, to the bin there. So um, it's possible that odor just fills this clear bin and you're just having to, uh, to clean it. Or you're just having constant uh, odor coming out of the vacuum cleaner. So um, anyways, so we'll get these cleaned and then I'll show you how to put them all back together. All right guys, I'm back. So now that you've got all your parts cleaned, I'm gonna show you how to put them all back together. So today is a little bit of a special day because I got a little helper with me. Say hello. Hi. Put your hand right in here. <laughs> there you go. All right. That's my son Isaiah. Okay, so you're gonna line these uh, this part up here, uh, this part here with this notch down here. Okay, and then once you do that, you can either push it down from here, or just put down pressure from here, and uh, it'll pop in there nice and firmly. Okay. So then, what you're going to do is you're gonna get your uh, the top of the cyclone assembly with the lid. I just, again, I just washed it uh, all in one piece, so, and it dries fine. And mine had a couple little tears, so I just put a couple little pieces of tape just to kind of cover the holes. And once this goes in place, it uh, seals up perfectly fine with that tape. So, okay. So now that you got that, you got that gasket in place, and then we're gonna drop this spring down inside of here and then we are going to position our little plunger here right inside like that okay and sometimes it'll stay right in place so as you're lowering this down you can keep it lined up and then that plunger is going to go right inside of here right inside of that little hole so you're going to line that up And drop that down. You can see the top of that plunger now pokes out of here. That's what this that's what this lever here is pushing down. So we want to make sure everything's lined up there. Okay. So now you're gonna get your screws in. Forget to put your filter back in. I wash this with soap and water and then let it dry. You want to make sure that this is bone dry, perfectly dry before you put it back in. Okay? Now, all that's left is this piece. And if you've forgotten how to put it in, I'll show you how to remember which way to put it in. So here is your, your clear bin here. And so this is going to show you, this part here is going to show you which way to put it on. So if you go ahead and install it, you know this only installs one way. So you have the latch here, you have the little button here, and then you have the latch up top. And so now, now you can see which way this needs to go in. So this needs to go in like that. If you can see that this here, this is going to match up like that. Okay. So this is going to go in like this. And you're just gonna press firmly and make sure that these four tabs pop in place here and get lined up in all four locations. Yeah. Okay, and then the last step is we're just gonna reinstall this gasket. And it's really, really tricky uh, if it's real rubbery so I have you want to put something on it but I just use armor all and uh, just kind of spray it on a little rag and then wipe it down so now it's 
got a little bit of lubrication so that it can be installed in there a little easier. So, and you're going to want to start it from this angle, from this side here, or if you're right-handed, maybe the other side. I don't know which way I'm doing this, lefty or righty. Um, and then you're going to work that gasket in and get it all the way into there. And then what you're going to do is just pull it through. Nice and carefully there. And then you can see two little indentations for lining it up. And then just stretch the gasket back in place there and get it underneath that lip. Like that. There you go. So now this is perfectly clean. And hopefully your vacuum's smelling much nicer now. So thanks for watching.